Jesse, I also have two for you as well. First of all, where do you feel like you've grown as a driver, given how quickly you've adapted to Xfinity Series competition? And with the resources you have around you at RCR, you touched upon Kyle Busch as a resource, but how has he or someone like Austin Hill helped you out? Yeah, I feel like Kyle's helped me out a bunch. And I I didn't know what to think of how Kyle was going to be with me uh, before we before I started working with him. Um, starting to do more of his simulation stuff at the Dill, at the Tech Center. And uh, even before that, you know, there's been times where he's called me to help me out on something. Before I was even Xfinity racing, we went and did that test day at Coda in the WRL series. Um you know, he was really blunt and honest with me and there was something I was doing wrong, but I was really fast. And he was like, well, where are you missing it? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm really fast. And he was like, well, you're two tenths off in this corner compared to me last year. So he doesn't just do that though. He, after he said that, and I had a confused look in my face, he, you know, brought the data over and brought people to show me the data and then explain it to me. And that's kind of been our relationship this whole year. Obviously Kyle is one of my heroes and somebody that I respect so much. So when, and and it, it it's one of those things where he doesn't have to do that, right? Like I don't, he doesn't owe me anything. So when he is coming to me and wanting to help me and want me to be better, um, it's one of the reasons he's at RCR. Like that's why I feel like I've grown a lot as a driver. Is I feel like I've I've tried to have no like ego towards anything, right? Know that I feel like I'm good enough to accept my faults and want to get better in those areas. And I've had a lot of people that have helped me fix those, like Austin Hill, Austin Dillon, and Kyle. They've all really helped me a bunch this year. And um, it's kind of hard for me to go help them because I don't have a lot to offer to Kyle Busch, right, or to Austin Hill or Austin Dillon. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I always try to lean on them as much as I can. And, yeah, I feel like the growth this year has has been solid. Um, I feel like I really perfected myself a lot. Um, last year race in ARCA, kind of getting to last year, and I'm really glad I did that. I didn't rush and go to a truck car or a truck series ride or a, or an even Xfinity series ride part-time. Like, I'm really happy that I stayed that extra year in, in ARCA, really set my foundation. So right now I feel like I'm kind of just taking small leaps forward each weekend. <clears throat> and right now the main thing is that I'm working on is going and having the grit and tenacity that a Cole Custer or Austin Hill or Justin Allgaier has but at the same time, not making mistakes, right? Even we, we even see that with some of those guys still that have all that speed kind of have those bad days where, you know, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. Um, I feel like I try not to have those days, but still be fast enough to compete for wins. And I've always kind of prided myself on, on that taking care of equipment and uh, finishing all the laps. And again, I feel like my progress this year has been slow, but really steady. And it's definitely an upward, upwards, you know, trajectory. So kind of focusing on that still in the playoffs, but it's kind of like golf. You know, I try not to make swing changes on the golf course. I try to do it beforehand, right? So I feel like as I go in the playoffs, there's going to be things that I'm going to adapt and learn to along the way. But I feel like I've done a lot of learning this year so I can go and race hard in the playoffs and not make mistakes. Thanks, Jesse. Best of luck. Thanks.